If you need Madden coins on any platform, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. For a limited time only, use code CLICKWID for 20% off your entire order. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another episode of our Madden 16 budget squad for the salary cap game. And guys, the thing that we are looking at today, the position is free safety. And guys, we're starting off at an 88 overall today. This is Deshaun Goldson. Now guys, obviously when we're taking a look at the budgets here, we wanna stick within a certain price range. Today we're looking at ones that are 40 points or 40 salary cap dollars, whatever you wanna call it, and below. So anything 40 or below will be in today's video and we're looking at the top five guys that fall within that price range. So Goldson I think is a good one to start off with and he's got a lot of attributes that some of these other guys don't have. Now first of all, we're gonna point out that uh, this is a seasoned veteran card so it, it is, actually pretty cheap given that it is a limited edition card you can find this card for as cheap as about five to six thousand coins at times right now when I'm creating this video there's only two of them up but the highest price one is 9500 so very very cheap to get started and I, like I said this is a really solid uh, free safety card Six foot two is the first thing that I want to point out. This is the tallest of any of the cards we're going to look at today. Six foot two, and he also has pretty good jumping as well. We're going to go down here and find that at a 92. That is the highest of any of the guys that we're going to be looking at today as well. So if you believe that those two attributes will do a good job of helping you prevent the aggressive catches that a lot of people have problems with, that this is definitely the best card for doing those things. The other thing that this is this card is the highest out of anybody is pure strength. It has a 74 for strength which does help it with you know getting through the the um, uh, block sheds and things like that it also has decent block shed by the way at a 69 that's not particularly high but it is the second highest of the guys that we're going to be looking at today um, so a pretty solid attribute there decent pursuit decent things like that um, one thing that this card is very very high at as well is that it also has really good hit power so if we go down here and you see the 94 for hit power that is pretty darn high it's definitely uh, among the highest of the safeties that are lower priced uh, and it's tied for the highest of any of the guys that we're going to be taking a look at today so one thing that I really like I said do like about this card is that it's very very solid in those attributes now where this card does not particularly match up as well is that it doesn't have great uh, pure coverage attributes so if you go and take a look at the zone coverage and the man coverage which are two of the more important attributes well I guess zone coverage being a lot more important for safeties than man coverage Coverage, of course but 66 for man coverage is very very low it's eight lower than any of the other guys that we're going to take a look at today and then for zone coverage he's also the lowest of anybody that we're going to be looking at today so kind of important attributes there uh, that we're you know not really getting out of this card but it is very very good in like I said some of those things that are that are pretty important the height the jumping uh, the hit power things like that very good tackling as well um, the speed and, and acceleration for this card are solid 89 for speed 90 for acceleration it actually probably will be at will actually be the lowest in terms of pure speed of any of the, the uh, safeties that we're taking a look at today but it's still pretty quick so that's not something that I'm particularly worried about so overall again very very nice card here I definitely like Deshaun Goldson at number four, we've got another elite safety here. This is an 88 overall as well, just like the Deshaun Goldson was, but his actual salary cap price is only 38. This is base Earl Thomas. Now, this card's going for about five to 10,000 coins, depending on when you get on the auction block. Uh, right now, there are quite a few of them up for like 30,000, so something must have happened with the market, but this one is currently bid, uh, uh, able to be bid on at 10,000, so pretty decent price for it. And I think this is a very, very nice, nice underrated safety card if you're looking to put together a good team and not spend a lot of coins so again 38 points now this card is the shortest of any of the safeties that we're going to be taking a look at today no excuse me the second shortest I apologize uh, but five foot ten is definitely short it's not going to be uh, somebody that can go up and do a great job against the aggressive catches in my opinion but he does have some attributes that are pretty nice for a base elite having 90 speed and 92 acceleration is very very good he has solid awareness at an 84 it's not the highest but it falls somewhere in the middle um 
And again, guys, he's not going to be the best of any of these guys for making, you know, the, the plays against the run. Fairly low strength at a 58. His uh, his tackling is only a 74, but he does have some still good attributes that I think we should take a look at. The biggest one of the bunch is actually his zone coverage. So where Deshaun Goldson was not great in zone coverage or man coverage, Earl Thomas definitely is. So Earl Thomas is the highest of any of the guys that we're going to take a look at today in zone coverage, which is one of the most important attributes for safeties because if you think about it your safeties are almost always in zone coverage almost regardless of what play that you pick on defense in this game uh, unless you manu manually shift them or if you're running some sort of all-out blitz where they have to be in man coverage they're almost always going to be in, in some sort of deep blue or uh, you know something like that that's going to make them necessary to have good zone coverage so that's why I really like this Earl Thomas card he also has nice play recognition and awareness uh, so, you know, he could go up and make some of those plays and, and jump in front of, of uh, you know, passes and things like that where other guys might not necessarily see the passes coming. His catching is okay at a 77. It's not the highest of the guys that we're going to take a look at today, but it is still pretty darn good. Um, 70 for a catch in traffic is also a pretty decent attribute. So overall, again, this is a good solid safety card, and it's the cheapest of any of the guys that we're going to be taking a look at today. 70 catch in traffic, 77 spectacular catch if you're interested in those things and a 74 for hit power so overall again very balanced good card not the best against the run but definitely great in zone coverage the highest of any of the guys that we're going to look at today and also the cheapest so go out here and take a look at earl thomas if you're looking for a cheap safety either salary cap wise or just pure budget wise for your mutt team earl thomas is definitely a good one to take a look at at number three, we have a safety that I really like because of some of the attributes that he has. This is Raheem Moore, Campus Hero, 88 overall. He also is a, uh, a 40 for salary price, so that's really not too bad. And guys, he has some attributes that I particularly look for when I'm looking at a safety. So first of all, guys, six foot one, a very, very tall safety. So that's always a good thing. Um, also, his jumping is solid at a 91, which is among the best of any of the guys that we're taking a look at today. So he's kind of built to go up and actually stop some of those aggressive catches. Um, and we're going to quick look through all of the attributes today on this card. But again, guys, there are things that Raheem Moore is good good at and there are things that he's not so good at first of all one of the things that I dislike about this card is that he's actually the slowest pure speed wise of any of the guys that we're going to be taking a look at today which is a little bit unfortunate so uh, you know you guys probably know I typically look for speed almost as my number one attribute almost regardless of position in this game because speed is just such an important thing getting to the ball and and making plays and things like that um, so that's something that's a little bit disappointing in Raheem Moore but 88 speed with 93 acceleration actually isn't too bad his 93 acceleration is second best of any of the guys that we're looking at today so despite the fact that his speed is the lowest he'll get to that speed the quickest or the second quickest I should say so it kind of balances out he's still going to be a decent speed uh, safety 88 speeds about as low as I would go for safety um, but he is good at some of the other attributes that I think are really really important his awareness is 83 which is uh, it's mediocre it's not great by any means play recognition is an 84 kind of middle of the pack again uh, 91 we already talked about for jumping but one of the things that I particularly like about this card is that he can go up and make catches so first of all his spectacular catch crazy crazy high in 85 his catch in traffic is a 78 that is really really good for a safety I mean that's by far the highest of any of the guys that we're taking a look at today and it's like 30 to 40 higher than some of the other guys that we're looking at so very very high, high attributes for his catching stats and uh and if you take a look at just his pure catching attribute that is really high as well that is an 87 guys that is way higher than everybody else it's five higher than anybody else on today's list so as far as actually getting interceptions goes he is by far the best and we already talked about his height we already talked about his jumping so he's going to be able to go up there and get the ball extremely extremely important stat there uh, and definitely something that I love about this Raheem Moore card and it might be the reason that I ended up going with this card uh, if I do a salary cap team so one of the things though that Raheem Moore is not so good at is playing against the run this card is not really built to do that his block shedding is very very low 
only a 58. That is by far the lowest of anybody else. Or actually, no, excuse me. It's the second lowest of everybody else. There's one other card that's lower. But um, And then you take a look at his strength. Not good either. Uh, strength is only a 65. That is quite low again for, uh, for a safety. It's not horrible because, you know, there are other guys that are actually lower. We saw Earl Thomas only being a 58. But, you know, he's really, again, not really built to be the, the run support type of safety. One thing that this card does have, though, is decent hit power. Uh, an 86 for hit power is not too bad. So, granted, the fact that he's not going to be able to be great against the run, but if he does get there and he does lay a hit, it's going to be a decent hit for the most part. And it's enough to break up a lot of passes over the middle as well. So, I definitely like the Raheem Moore card. And like I said, guys, he might be lacking in certain attributes, but where he makes up for it is actually getting those interceptions. So, I definitely like that about this card. At number two, we have a card that unfortunately was actually not on the auction block when I went on to take a look at it, so I wasn't able to pull it up for you guys, but we did find it on the trade block, so we're going to be comparing it to just a standard bronze uh, safety here, and that's uh, Curtis Drummond, but... I guess, guys, what I want to point out here with the Darian Stewart is despite the fact that he's not on the auction block, he typically is going to be on the auction block, so it's not that big of a deal, but I want to show you guys some of these attributes that this card has, because it is a really, really nice, well-balanced safety that can do an amazing job both against the, the pass as well as against the run, and I really, really like that about this card. So, first of all, guys, he is 91 overall at free safety, which is the highest of any of the guys that we're going to look at today in terms of overall. This is the Super Bowl 50 card, which obviously the card art on these ones is really, really cool. I think most people agree that this is one of the cooler card arts. So if you're into that, that's something that's a little bit of an advantage of this one. But 40 for the salary cap price. Um, really, really nice card overall, like I said. 5'11 isn't great. It's kind of middle of the pack of the guys that we're looking at today, but it's not bad by any means. 91 for speed and 92 for acceleration. Really, really great attributes there. Uh, very balanced. Going to get to the high-end speed very, very quickly. Fastest of any of the guys that we're looking at are tied for the fastest and kind of middle of the pack for acceleration. So very, very quick card. Great awareness as well. He actually has the highest awareness of any of the guys that we're going to be taking a look at today at an 87. And his play recognition is also the highest at an 85. So this is a guy that can go and make the plays and be smart. And, uh, you know, you don't have to think about him quite as much as you do some of the other guys who might have lower awareness and lower play recognition, lower zone coverage, things like that. So uh, definitely a good card for those types of things. Now, at 5'11", we are a little bit concerned about the, the aggressive catch, of course. So his jumping is important and he has decent jumping. So his jumping is actually uh, it checks in at a 90. So that's not too bad. Pretty solid at that attribute. Now, where I don't like this card is unlike the Raheem Moore that we saw in the previous card. This card is not really great at making interceptions. So his spectacular catch is a 38. That is awful. His catch in traffic is a 37. Again, awful. Really, really not good attributes there, so we definitely don't like that. Um, now, his zone coverage and his man coverage are actually decent. His man coverage at a 74 is kind of middle of the pack. Not great, not bad, but again, we don't really worry that much about man coverage for, for safeties. His zone coverage is solid at an 86, so it's not really something that we have to worry about too much. Uh, but where this card is really, really good is that he is great against the run. By far the best of any of the guys that we're going to be taking a look at today as far as run support. So, first of all, his block shedding being an 81, that is actually 12 higher than any of the other cards that we're looking at today. Very, very nice attribute there. He's very good in strength as well at a 72. Uh, if we go up here and find that one, really, really nice attribute there. So, those combination of block shedding and strength going to do a great job in going up and playing and run support. His tackling is also the highest of any of the guys that we're looking at today by four at an 86. Really, really nice attributes. And then last but not least, his hit power, guys. This is very, very high for a safety that's this type of price. 94. Definitely can go up there and make hits on guys against the running backs and potentially force fumbles. Or, he, of course, he can also make hits on wide receivers as they go over the middle and he can break up passes. Uh, if you play receiver with him as opposed to playing the ball, that's probably what I would recommend if you, you know, if you swap to the guy when the ball's in the air and uh, you get to decide if you want to go after the ball or the receiver. I would definitely recommend going after the receiver with Darian Stewart because he's going to do a great job of breaking the passes up, but he's not going to do such a 
a great job of actually going up and get those interceptions. So uh, he's got some areas where we definitely don't like him. But again, I think overall, he's such a balanced player, both against the run and the pass, because he can break up the passes and he's got good zone coverage and good speed and good acceleration. But he can also go up there and make those big hits and with great strength and great block shedding get on the running back and actually make the tackle. So again, we really like this card for its balanced attributes. And uh, again, 90 over, or 91 overall, the highest of any of the guys that we're looking at today. Definitely like Darian Stewart coming in at number two. And last but not least, guys, we have Tyron Matthew, the number one free safety for a salary price 40 and below. It's 40 points on the salary char chart, which is not too bad. And it is a really, really nice card in my opinion. 90 overall, second highest of the guys that we're looking at today. Um, and he is a team captain card if you're interested in that. So price-wise on this card, if you're buying him on the auction block, goes for somewhere between 25 to 30,000 for the most part. But I have seen him as low as 20,000 in the past week. So he could certainly drop in price here over the next couple of days as well. So again, really great card in my personal opinion, guys. Some of the things that this card is really, really good at is just the pure speed and acceleration. You take a look at the 91 speed, the 95 acceleration, and then his agility as well at a 95 makes him an amazing card to user control. And if you don't want to user control him, he's going to do a great job anyway. But you've seen Ryan915 in his budget series is in the past where he, or not his budget series, excuse me, his pack and play series where he's going, gone in with Tyron Matthew and user controlled him. And he is a, Ryan is a beast with Tyron Matthew. And the reason for it is because of these combination of attributes that he has, the acceleration, the speed, and the agility, very, very high in all of those things. His speed is the highest of any of the guys that we're looking at today, or excuse me, tied for the highest at a 91, but his acceleration at a 95 is the highest. His agility, again, is ridiculously high to 95, so he's able to kind of cut and get to where you want him to be very, very, very quickly, and that is an amazingly underrated attribute in this game. Now, his awareness is actually a little bit low at an 81, so that is something to be a little bit concerned about, but his play recognition is an 85, which is tied for the highest of anybody out of this group. So again, you know, it's kind of one of those things where it's kind of a balance. It's hard to say what thing is most important, but, you know, the combination of the two kind of puts him in the middle of the pack, in my opinion, on those, those attributes. Now, one thing that we don't really like about this card, and it's a little bit of a problem, is that he is only five foot nine. So he is the shortest of any of the guys that we're looking at today and he's quite short actually for a free safety in general but if you've watched like I said Ryan's videos in the past and you will actually see that height isn't actually that important in this game as crazy as it sounds it's not certainly as important as it was in Madden 15 and Madden 25 where you could really make the case that height was almost more important than any of the actual pure attributes in the game so I mean in this game I think it's a little bit overrated people think that height is is a lot more important than it is I think triggering animations is more important than this game so I'm not as worried about it but it is something to think about anyway uh, but he does have a little bit low attributes in some of the other things that would help with that as well his jumping is an 89 which is again it's actually the lowest of any of the guys that we're looking at today but all of the guys fall within about three for jumping so they're all between 89 to 92 in terms of the pure jumping attributes so it's not that much of a difference between him and the other guys but if you combine that with the fact that he's the shortest he's going to be the worst as far as going up and actually swatting the ball down and things like that. However, some of the things that he is very, very good at that I think you, you've got to consider is that he does have some great attributes and things like catching. Um, we've already talked about where catching is extremely important. Now, we saw that the Raheem Moore was the best in terms of pure catching, but Tyron Matthew is also very, very good. He has an 82 for catching, which is the second highest of any of the guys that we're looking at today. And his catch and traffic is actually solid as well at a 62. Now, granted, 62 is not great. It's not wide receiver numbers or anything. And it's not like the guys who are, um, you know, the, the ultimate legends and the golden tickets and things like that. But he is still really, really good in that attribute for a guy that's 90 overall. 62, like I said, for catch and traffic. Spec catch as well, very good at a 77 as far as a, a safety goes. That is really, really good. Now, 
one thing that I particularly dislike about this card is that his block shedding and strength are quite low. Um, so he's not going to be like like the Darian Stewart that we saw in the last card, uh, where he is not very good in terms of, uh, you know, or he is really good in terms of going up and uh, making hits on the running back. Tyron's, or Tyron Matthew is not going to be as good in those areas. He's only got a 54 for, uh, for block shedding, and his strength is mediocre at a 47. 47 is quite a bit lower than any of the other guys so it is definitely possible that he's going to get pancaked but again if we're user controlling him a lot of times we're not going to be as worried about that we can get past the blockers and things like that ourselves so we don't have to worry about that too too much his tackling is kind of not that great as well at only a 72 so again there are always going to be areas where these cards are good and not so good i mean that's just kind of the way that it is right uh when you're looking at a more budget team you're going to have some areas where the guys are not that that great. But the things that he is really, really good at, zone coverage and 92 is very, very high. And if you are going to be looking at putting him in man coverage, he does have an 83 for that attribute, which is better than any of the other guys that we've looked at today by quite a bit. So he is really, really great in coverage. Um, and, uh, of course, that's definitely something that we like to see in, as well. So uh, last but not least, guys, another thing that I like about this card is that once he has the ball in his hands, so once he gets those interceptions, or if you put him as a kick returner or something like that, he's going to do a great job for you because he has great elusiveness at an 88. He also has really nice attributes for spin move at an 89, and his juke move is 95. So he can, on a kick return, if you hit that juke to go to the left or the right and get off the edge, this card can definitely do it for you. And if you combine this fact that he's got good speed like we talked about and a great acceleration as well, well, he's definitely somebody that you could potentially consider putting at your kick returner as well. So guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor and go ahead and click the like button below. And guys, of course, if you're interested in another position for me to do next, let me know in the comment section below. I'll probably be doing strong safety next, but I want to know what you guys want to see after that. Is there a particular position or is there a particular price range that you want me to take a look at? Because I'd be glad to go in and analyze all of the guys that are in the game and give you my opinion on what are the best cards to use. So thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like. Like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Not good. Yo, this everybody, no Clickwood is trying to do the reach around. Oh, Clickwood! I think it's a set. Oh my! Oh, KO, KO, set match. I'm done. I'm done. What? What did drop, you just drop? Drop Mike. 150,000 coins. Oh my God! 150,000 on. coins. Holy hell! <sighs> this is dead. This is uh, this is AIDS. I just got another two. I just hey, got another two. Hey, it's not as AIDS as your comment section sometimes, because those <laughs> motherfuckers.